Good morning, good evening, guten Tag, bonjour, bonsoir, comment ça va? Hi trader, this is Mario Forex Adaway, the channel for traders run by a trader. In today's video, I'll try to show you how by squaring natural numbers, you can substantially improve your trading and how to do it easy way. I will also show you how to set your indicator for this purpose. But stay with me, because later on I will show you how to use it on lower time frames. It's for all you guys who are trading on daily time frames, on short time frames than daily. So let's start the rock and roll. So first thing first. Thank you very much, guys, for your comment, for participating with me on this channel. I got so many comments from you. Sorry if I don't answer so quickly. I haven't got time. I'm not sitting all day long, all night long on the com my computer. As soon as I get on my desktop, I'll try to respond to all of you. One of the questions from MM. MM told me, please, Mario, change the color of the background to another color to let the chart to be clear. MM, I'll do it from today on. I change the color to the white background. I hope it will be all right. Guys, just let me know. So I'll try to do my best. Just write me in the comments. I got uh, also a comment from uh, oh Naveen Sabu. Naveen Sabu, thanks for your comment, Naveen. You write, you've written a comment under my last video, Top Gun Trading Tool, about lines, cutting lines and finding the turning points. And Naveen Sabu has written, has written, I have tried this on Nifty, and these lines are cutting where trend changes with 95% accuracy. Congrats, congratulations, Naveen. Well done, good job. What about you guys? Have you tried it? It really works. I'm happy that that at least Naveen tried it and realized that it's a very, very good tool for trading. I also have got comment from Chelsea Natalie, who said, I try using Fibonacci on this system. It's not system, on this method, and it works. Chelsea Natalie, well done. Well done. I also try Fibonacci one day. How it works, but I'm sure it does. Well, uh, that comment just inspired me to make one video right now. And let's start here. Let's go to the chart. I'll show you what I mean by this. Well, first uh, things first. As you already know, WD Gun um, had been using squaring of numbers, figures, prices, time, whatever in his trading all the time uh, with good results, as you know. One of my friends <laughs> jokes that uh, he suggested that uh, Fibonacci was, uh, sorry, that Gunn was even squaring his birthday cake on his birthday party, but well, <laughs> it seems so. Why, why it's so important, I'll tell you right now. The important thing is that the square root of two, or half of it, is just, con is just connected to to triangles, to, to regular angles, as well as tangent of 60 or tangent of uh, 30 degrees. Let me, let me show you. I've got it here. Here, you see, we got a triangle, a regular triangle, and we go C is equal to square root of 2, whatever. And sine of 45 degree is half of it, half of square root of 2. Cosa, cosine is, as well, for 45 degree, they are equal on 45 degree, as well on 60 and 30. Look, tangent 60 degree is square root of 3. Tangent of 30 is one third of square root of 3, or square of 3 divided by 3. That's why mm, I found it, it's, it's really amazing what you can do with this. But let's, let's go straight to the example. I'll show you. I use simple Fibonacci retracement, and it is like that. Look, nothing special. I'm not a big follower of Fibonacci retracement. But I just made in a peculiar way, which shows we are on the Euro USD weekly chart over here. And what is important here, that I just, this is the first impulse you might have known already. I'll show you once again why I did it, 
why it works like that. Uh, let's delete it and let's uh, zoom it out a little bit. So we got such a situation. I knew already that this trend is uh, is rising here. We are on the weekly chart whatsoever. So we got here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks. I consider that it might have been the first like first impulse of the trend of the new trend because the market made kind of uh, a reversed cup and didn't manage to go lower. But let's draw it once again. So first leg, I draw a Fibonacci retracement here and look what happens. It doesn't show too much. It doesn't show too much. But when you change it to the daily chart already, so here we go, it's November 2016, whatever, when it happened. And let's see, let's see what's the difference, what it shows us. So we started from here and drag the, the unity from zero to one is this part. I considered first leg. Look how the price behaves over here. Look how the price behaves over here. It respects all those lines. It's very strange. It respects all those lines. Those lines represent reversal. There is nothing more than square roots of natural numbers. Look here, when you drag this over here higher, you will see how the market behaves on those levels. It really behaves as it should do. This three, it tripled, it tripled the principal impulse. So it's three times bigger over here, came back and went further. I'm sure if we drag it further on, on to the next top, you will see it will also respect those lines, only the proportion is different, but also look here, it all what happens. This is weekly chart. Here it hit nearly one, which is the, the beginning of our, of our measurement. But look on these lines, how it behaves. It behaves pretty nicely. When you go on lower time frame, I'll show you on a different one. I got Japanese over here. We got Japanese. Let's presume that you got such a situation and we don't know what's gonna happen. So we drag it first from here to here. We can also drag it from close to, to close, from the top to bottom. It works as well. I will show you. It's indifferent. It's only the scaling is different. It shows more precisely when you got it from from the very bottom of this candle to the very top of t to this candle. So we got first leg from close to close. The close of this last red candle, the, the bear candle is also the opening of the bull candle. So this is the first impulse, the unity one. Look how market behaves. We are on four hour chart on USD Japanese. So look how the market respects these levels. It's really amazing, but it's not all the stuff. Look here, two, six, four, five. And look again here, look again here. It is all, it's working that way. So the past that is determining future resistance and supports. And this is not as it was on, uh, as we usually we do it on half. I told you in one of my videos, the Fibonacci retracement, they don't work precisely. Uh, so this method, I think, is much better when you get square roots of, na of uh, natural numbers. Look here, here already we are gone, but I'll show you now, very important. Let's go to the lower time frame. Look what's happening here, lower time frame. Here we got measurement up to here, or up to here, wherever, this is the close. And we got first stop, return. We got next, breaking the line, return. Here we got the clear sign after this, uh, whatever this doji is here. And this Marabuzu, we are on H1, so it's Marabuzu for one hour chart. 
we doubt that the market should grow, so the market came back, made another dodgy and started rising to the next line. The same story, it broke, came, tested, next line, tried to pass through, no way, came back, didn't touch the line and it arrived finally over here, somewhere. Look, this line, 2645. It's nothing to do with Fibonacci numbers at the moment. As you realize, and the market started falling, it will happen again. One resistance, you might realize when the market start resisting the, the price, st starts reversing like here. It's just small touch to the line 141 and came back. I will show you now how to how to how to do it. Simply you get the Fibonacci retracement, this FIBO from here or from tools wherever. And here instead of regular default settings, you put all the square roots from one to nine. So it's zero for sure. It has to be one. One is a square root of one, whatever. 141.42 is square root of 2, 1.73 is square root of 3, and so on, square root of 4. This is for sure square root of 8 and square root of 9. I'll show you, if you want to add the next one, add the square root of 10, which is, you get the calculator, make 10, get the square root 3.162. So we put it here, 3, 3.1622, and we got here 3.16, And here we go, we got another level somewhere here on the top, is this one. When you change it, here we go. So we got 0, 1, 2, and 3. They are all nicely divided, and now you can check it out on a small time frames. When you go, for example, with the Japanese, when you go to small time frame, let's say one hour, let's do it on one hour, whenever, wherever you want. Let's go to one hour chart. So we got first leg, first leg, let's say this one, don't forget about this one. Let's make any, any other leg over here. From here to here, might be more precise, or from here to here. Let's try this one. So we got one, zero, and all the others. Look, here we go. Nice resistance, nice resistance again. Nice resistance, and the price arrived somewhere here. Just hit 2828, so the square root of 8, and came back. Now, but we are on one hour chart. Let's change it to 15 minutes chart. Now the magic begins. You got precise hits of the price and if you know anything about candles formation, you can say straight away that in this area the market would probably fall or in this area the market would probably rise and here is the falling formation, but you can quickly realize, look, it hit over here, 1.732. Have you seen it on Fibonacci retracement? I'm sure you haven't. That's how it works, guys. That's it from me for today. I hope to see you next time. Watch my other videos and happy trading. Bye-bye.